Run the bitch. <laughs> All right, everybody. Hey, welcome back. Uh, we were getting off on a tangent here, uh, talking, about about war- <laughs> talking about talking uh, about working uh, into an elephant. Uh, to, to see what it'd be like to have an elephant dick. But let's go ahead. Let's stay off of that. That's a little teaser. No <laughs> Game of Thrones talk. You can only get that here. Poker guy. Good what? to have you here, man. Uh, we were Thanks, lazy buddy. last week. We didn't get one done. Uh, a little too much video games. A little too little cat podcasting. It's tough stuff to, to get the energy to do one of these. It's crazy. Like, as an adult, like, you just don't have time. Like, literally, like, by the time it's the weekend, you're, like, just catching up on sleep. And then it's, like... You don't have time to slay noobs on video games, you know? Yeah. But- well, you can either slay noobs and do other stuff, or you can just slay noobs. So we were slaying noobs. And um, I'll tell you what I wasn't doing. I wasn't at any eight and under soccer game. Never been to one. Never going to go to one. Never Thank been God, to one. Amshallah. I will never see <laughs> the the, uh, the little Manchester U's versus the little Liverpool's on a fucking side court or like a little side field in uh downtown portland god what a what a horrid life somebody is um something's going on with the premier league right now because i keep getting shit on the internet it's like oh like bad you defeated but like something just happened um that's a i don't premier know league update <laughs> that's titillating <laughs> that's, that's been your uh, yeah, FIFA well, here, world here, here, soccer here, here, update that's me hammering away on my keyboard and trying to get to more information about the premier league <laughs> uh i mean i guess that's what that's the top league it has to be right otherwise i think in it? the english the premier mega league? premier no you english league. premier league and then you've got um like the spanish one right okay i don't know <laughs> <laughs> okay. and that has been your yeah. fifa soccer update. yeah <laughs> i mean you're from you're from uh what is that it's uh but what's we's... that uh what's that land laos you're that from that landlocked country in asia uh, you yeah. should know a little bit more about soccer where they only have, I mean, that's why soccer is so popular is all you need is a ball. I mean, it's not because well, ball it's is fun. kind of a loose term. You can just take newspaper and just put tape yeah. around it. And then the it human skull, <laughs> whatever works. Yeah. Human skull. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> whatever works. Um, so you're heading off here pretty I'm soon. I'm out of here. I'm fucking out of here. here. Adios. I'm where going on going, vacation. Man? I'm going on vacation for a month. I'm going to go down to central America central america um, yeah so uh costa rica to be exact and uh yeah i don't want to participate in anything productive so i want to space out and do nothing for a month so i'm gonna go i'm gonna space out i'm gonna shred i'm gonna drink beer probably entertain some some pot here and there maybe play <laughs> some dominoes with some puerto ricans i don't some know dominoes so fucking go. dominoes maybe <laughs> so whatever some cards some space what's the singles scene like down there um, I mean, is they have a tin like this is their you know costa rica tinder yeah that shit works international app yeah that shit works down there it so, does oh, it does good then right like, yeah I'm gonna, i American can't wait chicks. totally so the thing is is yeah. like you'll see chicks from like other parts of the world right so you'll get like canadian chicks like european chicks australian chicks and so it's cool to just see these women in their beautiful blonde hair blue eyed faces you know i don't know it's gonna be fun it's gonna be super psych, yeah. uh, super sick. So you're not yeah. necessarily targeting the local, the local ladies. Uh, you're looking for I... other, other women that are in a vacation mindset that may be looking to cut loose a little bit. Yeah, I'm just gonna have my app open and I'm gonna close my eyes and swipe right as much as I can. <laughs> and then the if way? I is that what what approves them? That's that the... look, look. You just it's like that guy from Signs. You just gotta keep swinging. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. that, like Joaquin Phoenix with the baseball bat. The same shit. At one point, you're going to hit a home run, but you just keep swinging, okay? Just keep um, chopping away. Just keep chopping just wood, keep, bro. keep chopping keep that chopping fucking wood. wood. <laughs> you knock that tree down sooner or later. Exactly. Keep swinging that axe. Exactly. At one point, I'm going to get a home run. Could be with a local Vietnamese chick. Could be with some chick <laughs> from from Canada. It could really be anybody. But, it, uh, you know, one thing's for sure. It'll probably be a cisgendered female. I'm <laughs> yeah, just probably. saying. I'm gonna try my That's best. What you're shooting for? That's what I'm Girl, aiming for. But for sometimes, best. you know, let's you know, say a couple of drinks down. You go down there and grab like a try to grab some muffin, you know. But you <laughs> you reach down there and all of a sudden you're you're like yeah, uh, you're, you're knee deep, in, yeah, like Frankfurt yeah. and beans, you know. Yeah. That might be you're, something I might not be looking for. Pardon you know, me, <laughs> pardon like me, that. sir. You're in the wrong restroom. Uh, you'd be arrested in Georgia. <laughs> I, for being I had a there. I had a buddy or a friend or a friend who who went to uh, the South Pacific or who was like in a boat or some shit. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's a dangerous spot for 
for yeah, identifying cisgendered individuals. It's not safe. It really isn't. And uh, those lady boys, they've, they've mastered that shit. So you're allowed to like hook up with these women of the night, I guess I would call them, <laughs> or whatever of the night. <laughs> I don't know. The night, but not. you're not allowed to touch them, you okay. know? Because like, if gotcha. you reach down there, you might grab just a big slice yeah. of sausage so you, you know? can you can like, let a dude you can let a dude blow you if you want right and then um, in your mind yeah. you're like dude that chick was hot we'll rationalize that right but yeah, ling ling gotcha. knows that she's not yeah, a chick like, she's actually yeah. a dude and her name is uh you know, <laughs> her name's hung her name's hung hung fred <laughs> If Fred she Hung, were, you know, <laughs> if she were painting nails, if she were painting nails in Portland, Oregon, her name would be Fred. Um, but anyhow, but yeah, dude. So I'm gonna be out of town, boys and girls. Take care of yourselves. I will try not to die, and we will. When I come back in town, we'll connect, and I'll t- I'm sure I'll have some crazy stories for you guys. For yeah, sure. that'll be if I come back. If I come back, yeah. If you come back, I mean, knows, I'm rooting man. for you. I won't know. <laughs> like I said earlier, like I don't know. I don't know if you die in Costa Rica. Yeah, it it'll it be, be two months. months before it may you be found two. Out. Yeah, yeah. it'll be like five weeks. It'll be it, like, I don't know. I mean, I feel like puppies would know before me. You and then you I guys would, find would out from be, puppies. Yeah, you guys would both be out of the loop, and then you would just look on the PlayStation thing and be like, "This motherfucker hasn't signed on for like three months." Yeah, it's been what it's been forty two days since. Boy, that's been way longer. He should be back by now, right? I think so. Yeah. I don't know. I think so. He's dead. I think so. He's dead. He's I hope, dead. Yeah, man. That would suck. Yeah. Well, don't I'm not going to die. Don't I'm die. not going to die. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, you know, I won't die. It's easy. I've been doing this shit for a minute. I'm not, I'm not going to die. I have, more of a, <laughs> All right. I have more of a risk of dying, like, in traffic because some Puerto Rican guy is not is texting and driving versus actually, like, something bad happening, like, in, while I'm surfing. You know what I mean? But at the same time, when I'm driving down I-95 in Florida, I look to my left, some old bitch with a fucking Oldsmobile. She's texting and driving. Yeah. You know, I could die there. Some lady you know? with three teeth bringing the stars and bars up loud totally. and proud. Uh, yeah, she's a danger to you as well. Cell phone in one hand, constant danger. cigarette in the other, texting, knees on the yeah. steering wheel, yelling at her Click, fucking uh, kids. Cricket, 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 boo, cricket, cricket wireless, mobile, uh, cricket cell phone. Wireless. Yeah, uh, definitely. <laughs> Unlocked not, iPhone yeah. five. You know, she's like, lost her. She's lost her call because she's definitely not a Verizon customer. Their rates are far too high for an individual way too like high. her. Way too way high. Way too high. Uh, plus the contract. Uh, who they ran a credit check? <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Shit! Five twenty doesn't get your contract. God damn it! What is um, it like? What's a bad credit score? Like, what's a bad one? Like five hundred uh, area? Five hundred's got to be bad. If right? you're dipping into the five hundreds, you're you're like that. Probably. The, so here's how. Here's how I understand. So here here is some quick financial advice All from right. from a couple guys. Who don't so, know shit about finances? I think it goes. Yeah, I think it goes uh, to like eight ninety nine is the oh, theoretical okay. kind of highest score. Okay, but in general, I think seven hundred. If you're if you're in the high six hundreds, six seventy five and above, you're gonna do you're gonna do okay. Like you're not gonna get completely fucked whenever you try and get money from people. Yeah, the the people that they're really preying on are the people in like six seventy five to like. 575 because they're like well credit's not that good so it's gonna hit you with 18 percent interest or whatever the fuck it is percent interest starting immediately so the law the law says uh maximum allowable interest rate i can charge is 29.9 percent so your apr is (laughs) (laughs) 29.9 percent any questions about your loan uh actually no sir okay go ahead and sign here Mm -hmm. uh well Mm -hmm. (laughs) the thing is so there's that so there's those people, and then like, if you're below probably 600, I don't know how that goes. I mean, thank goodness I don't know how that really goes. Yeah. But like, if you're probably in the 500s, or I think if you're in like the four, high 400s, somebody might give you money. Like somebody real predatory like agency Am Scott. might give you money. Am Scott could give you a home loan. You <laughs> yeah. <know? laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but then at a certain point, like I think if you're in the four hundreds or the five hundreds, those are your payday loan people. Yeah, where yeah. it's like if you need money, you need either need to take the title of your car in somewhere. So I used to I used to work at this office uh, where we had a payday loan company. So if we had payday loan cricket. You know, we did that we did that once on the podcast about all the fucking 
horrible places and you guessed almost near all of them the pawn shop everything yeah pawn shop so, vape shop gun store <laughs> yeah, like yeah they had all that yeah. shit but the the, the it wasn't a K. pay loan it was an actual title loan so the people had to roll up in there you rolled up in there with hope fucking the title to your fucking 1998 dodge neon and you rolled in there and you got your 300 bucks or whatever it was at the ma- at the maximum allowable interest rate plus whatever sort of fees they could fucking charge your ass look at love guys to see Neon, 99 dollar fee you know, i'd love to see like the fee. percentage and the breakdown of like who actually ends up returning that pay- you know what i mean like who actually pays yeah. off like I mean, that's just a short, that's just interest, a short like, spiral into giving away your fucking Dodge Neon at yeah. a discount rate. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, at this point, you're just like, giving it away. You know? Yeah, I mean, it's worth like, I don't know, 1200 <laughs> retail, 600 wholesale. So they're going to give you leveraged out on it. Vomit like on the passenger seat. 200 bucks. Broken like, windshield, bumpers fucked yeah. up. But it's got a nice off. carburetor. So, like, that's most of the value is in the carburetor. It's got a pretty uh, sick spoiler. Uh, like, <laughs> yeah, it does have that. All of them do. Pretty sick. Um, All of them do. Some dude from Craigslist, he did the tint. Um, so, ignore the bubbles, but it's a sick car. It's pretty yeah, sick. But I, I used to always see this one lady walk out there, like, clicking her heels out into this parking lot. To go look at some tweaker's fucking 98 Neon. You know, arrange whatever hellish deal like they had going on in there. That's crazy, dude. That's so predatory. But I'm glad (laughs) I've never been in that situation where I need to like like pawn my dog or something, you know. Like, look, I'm going to come back from my dog in like a week, all right? (laughs) You know, (laughs) Jesus Christ. Um, all right, well, that's a pretty good segue into sports, dude. I think we're, we're done pretty, talking. Pretty about. good segue into sports. So all I guess right, I'm gonna mark this that is a there. sports podcast. Fucking Mrs. Fever is not going to like that. You think, um, you know, we've been doing, you know, uh, for the most part, a lot of sports here. But over the last couple of weeks, the sports have been just so terrible. College basketball was fucking garbage. The, NF- uh, the end of the NFL season was trash. You seem to enjoy the draft for the booze, if anything. And then, other than that, I mean, even the NBA playoffs have been fucking terrible. So, they they've been rather unremarkable. Uh, Portland they won a game seven today uh, against Denver, so Portland's gonna get a chance to take out Golden State. Golden State, they I mean, Houston. what the fuck is he? I mean, Houston is gonna get ugly down there. Well, didn't we talk about the beginning of the year? I was just like, you're the guy who's you're a James Harden guy. You're saying how he's good. But, I like hey. James Harden, but man, he's he's shriveled up. He's a shriveled up dick in the biggest moments, and it's tough yeah. to defend the guy. Yeah. Well. And Chris up. Paul, like, I fucking hate Chris Paul, like yeah. everybody else. Yes. Thank I mean, you. how do you not hate Chris Paul? He's such so he a pulled bitch, that bullshit. Dude. He's you heard? Such I don't know if you heard about this, but Steph Curry was trying to get some shots up at the uh, Houston Arena from he he reserved the court from seven to eight or something at night. And then Chris Paul got wind of that, and then he kind of double booked to the court, but was like, ah, it's a hometown advantage. And Steph Curry even goes, yo, it's cool. Like, I'll, I'll shoot down here, you shoot down there. We'll switch sides. Like, it doesn't matter. And Chris Paul chased him completely off the court, right? This is the night before game six. I mean, and then Steph really... Curry came in and put up 33 in the second half. And there's a great clip. It's almost like a Kirk Cousins. You like that sort of clip? Yeah. You like Steph that? Curry? Yeah, uh, Steph Curry being like, "Fucking chase me off your court, bitch!" <laughs> I'm just talking shit. I didn't Draymond see that. Green high fiving him that. and stuff. <laughs> Draymond Green Super yelling, sick. kicking Super... people. Kevin yeah. Durant throwing gang signs. Demarcus Cousins choking people. Just yeah. a classic fucking super sick, super great, sick, great yeah. moment. Um, I, didn't, I didn't see it. Um, that's pretty fucking badass. Yeah, and the the, the Rockets, it just isn't working for them. Clint the Capella, Rockets. So are here's dog the thing: shit. is I've actually been watching almost ass. all of these NBA games. Okay. Because I'm stuck in this hotel three nights a week. Yeah, so that's so, not a bad bad thing to entertain yourself with. So I watch two. I watch. I'll just turn on TNT. I'll hang out with Charles, Shaq, and Ernie. Yeah. Uh, and who's that? Kenny the Jet Smith. Kenny. Uh, they'll hang out with the TNT crew. 
I'm a Shaq man. Watch the games. I'm a Shaq man. Love yeah. me some Shaq. I, I love Shaq. Love Barkley too. Love, yeah, love I like Shaq Bark Dog. Like Barkley. Shaq. Ernie, I don't get it. Um, you got to have the one white guy in there. I get it. I guess. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a perfect complement to everything else that's going on. He's fantastic. They got a they got a award winning crew for a reason. Mm-hmm. But so I'll hang out and I'll watch them. And I've been watching most of these games. There haven't been very they have been good series, yes, but there haven't been a ton of like great games. Yeah, yeah. A lot of them have just been shit blowouts. The Celtics were trash. And this uh, the Celtics uh excuse me, the uh the Raptors versus 76ers, it's a game seven right now, as we're recording this. Oh, really? Those that series is close, but the games have been fucking terrible. So it's thirty-one twenty-seven right now. Well, the games um, have been blowouts, like you close. said. It's like they're like twenty-point blowouts, and it's kind of stupid. There've mean, been a few good ones, but not enough to to call it overwhelmingly fantastic. So we'll see the so the Bucks are locked in into the East. We got a couple more hours. We'll figure out who they're going to play. Who, Raptors did the Celtics the beat? Uh, did it, who, who won that? Celtics or the uh, Milwaukee Bucks? Oh, the Celtics got mushroom stamped. Oh, they did. They're out. They're fucking out. Yeah, four to one in five games. They won the first game and then they got swept the rest away. Wasn't even close. Not and now Kyrie's pretty much done. Yeah, he's gonna leave. Yeah, it's over. People in Boston hate Kyrie. Everybody hates him. Bill Simmons has had like three podcasts about how much he fucking hates he just he's kind of hot and cold on. he's hot and cold about Kyrie, but last year he, he's he done like, he's like completely done yeah, he, yeah. he's completely <laughs> jumped ship and he's had like three podcasts in a row where he just brings different people on to talk about <laughs> how, fucking how done he is with Kyrie irving and how much he hopes that he doesn't fucking resign what about his so pops? everybody what about his and pops? he's been trying to hold out and everybody's fucking done with him his yeah. flat earth having just just shaking around he's a bitch though he's he's like he's like a bitch you know what i mean he's like trying to be alpha you. dog and it's like all you have to do is play second string to lebron and like swallow your tears and you're gonna win championships like just Dude, do he that. might go back to he might go to the lakers that's it's not the saying. most ridiculous thing yeah. in the world people yeah. are well it's ad people are doing rumors there you're gonna that's have a natural AD. transition you have fucking it, Kyrie. Yeah, that's a natural transition. We got a new head coach of the Lakers. Okay. Uh, Tyron Lue turned him down. Uh, somebody that would have been turned, dope. Monty that Williams dope. turned him down. And Frank Vogel is the new head coach of the Los Angeles the Lakers. The most uninteresting <laughs> yeah. coach. You there might as well so hire Scott dicks. Brooks. Like, Jesus, dude. Like There are so many limp dicks tonight in, La- in fucking Lakerland with little Kobe Bryant jerseys on. Like, no no women are getting fucked in Laker households tonight. Everyone's no. just disappointed in a The limp CDC dick is decision. not on high alert. CDC no. level green, okay? <laughs> no, everybody. Magic's staying in tonight. He's at, he did not excite him. Did not nah. excite him at all. He, no, nah, he didn't. He, well, he's not happy with how it all turned out. He's going to stay at home and watch Game of Thrones. You know, that's all. He, he, he probably only put one exclamation point on that tweet of uh, <laughs> Bump Frank for Vogel GOT exclamation point. Can't wait. Hashtag Daenerys Stormborn. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I got I got a big I got a big Game of Thrones prediction. Okay. And I got to keep it on the record because it's coming out. In we've an been hour pretty good with our minutes. predictions, though. Like, okay, yeah. So, okay, on. fuck. All right, yeah. Well, we're gonna well, give, let's, we gotta, are we, we done with sports? Are we done with we're sports? done with sports. Fuck sports. It's over. Golden State wins again. <laughs> <Golden> <laughs> let me just. State wins. Let me just. Let's just. We're gonna finish our NBA playoff talk. I will tell you what. It was a hell of a series, but uh, yeah, Giannis put up a hell of a fight. Uh, he's he's gonna be he's gonna be trouble for years, but. Uh, Warriors, they take this one. What will KD do? And uh, we'll the refs see are gonna fuck it. Agency. The refs are gonna fuck it up, anyways. It's unwatchable at this point. The refs will fuck it up. They will. <laughs> yeah, you hate the ra- you hate all refs almost as much as you hate Bill O'Brien, which I love. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, love. I just I don't hate Bill O'Brien. I just understand yeah. how he has a fucking job. I don't. You're understand not going to Costa Rica. It. You're going to fucking Houston, Texas. To spy I'm going on Bill to O'Brien. Houston. I'm going, going to fucking it's bullshit. Yeah, you're set up eating, a- just you meet broccoli out of fucking Chinese restaurants in Houston, Texas, hanging outside of Bill O'Brien's office. I'm going to spring home, training, trying to gather dirt on him. Training camp shit. I'm gonna be out there with a fucking canopy, a forty dollar Walmart canopy, <laughs> and like 
yelling at him and shit. <laughs> Fuck you. That would be, that'd be hilarious. I, I wish this was a podcast that had actual money behind it. I would, I would send I would send poker would guy that. to Houston Texans. It, it, uh, you know the be, best yeah. part too is like one of those like giant like defensive coordinators would come up to me and be like, hey you bitch, come here. Like just try to fight me. <laughs> And then I'd you be the victim. I'd be the he... victim, and then I'd get punched out like that chick on the uh, on the airplane. Remember, or that guy on the airplane? <laughs> yeah, the Chinese guy. The Chinese guy. Remember him? <laughs> he drug out of there, <laughs> screaming. Ah. <laughs> oh, you killed me. My jaw's broken. I, 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 dude, that would be so fun. No, what would actually happen is you'd go down there and you would be a chicken shit and then you'd fucking yeah. run into Bill O'Brien and he'd probably be nice to you and then you'd be on the world's biggest Bill O'Brien I, I'd oh, have like a Bill O'Brien. Really Bill O'Brien. He was actually a really nice guy. You know, sign something for me. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> fuck, I'm really torn here. I'm really hey, poker torn. guy, uh, what's your tattoo say? B-O-B-F? Yeah. Bill O'Brien fan? What's that mean? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Don't worry about <laughs> it. About it. I don't know if you knew this or not, but the uh, Texans actually won a four of the last five uh, division titles. I don't know if you knew that Which or not. doesn't mean anything, like I've said a zillion fucking times. I don't yeah, fucking get it. doesn't mean anything. Mean All right, yeah, so we're done with sports there. All right, sports um, are done. Poker Fuck guy's sports. going on his, his fake Costa Rican. That's what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to, you know, we're in the world as poker Rican. guy. I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna think of something that you're doing that is not what you're doing, not what you're saying that you're doing. Okay. I don't well, know what you're actually doing, but well, one of them, one possibility is you definitely go on to Houston, Texas That'd be fun. mini camp. <laughs> That'd be fun if we actually had, like you said, like money and support and people who cared. It'd be fun to drop everything that we're doing to just go and talk shit to people, like at the Tennessee like training camp. Like learn all the shit about all the all the players. Sit out there on a fucking desk and just yell at people and berate people. You know, <laughs> fuck you, uh... Mariota. Fuck you, bro. <laughs> Just harass people. That'd be fun. Who's their backup now? Is it Ryan Tannehill? I think it was, Tannehill. I thought it was uh, Mettenberger, I think, wasn't it? No, I think it might be Tannehill now. The, Tannehill's the, the, the backup? The, uh, Are you kidding me? Yeah, the middle income man's uh, Zach Mettenberger. Whoa. <laughs> the, Tannehill's so. the fucking backup? What a fall He's athletic, grace, dude. dude. That dude's pretty fucking athletic. He's yeah, not he's... Jeff Driscoll athletic, but he's athletic. Yeah, I guess he'd be pretty good for like a wide receiver, you know? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> he played wide receiver his whole fucking life, yeah. you know? And he he's not – I tell you, he's not a very good quarterback. Uh, so let's go ahead. Um, I want to get into – real quick here – your man, my man, everybody's man, Zach Smith. Uh, Give us former... a quick breakdown of who he is for the new listeners. <laughs> so, for anybody who's a little bit new to this, so Zach Smith has been a so Poker Guy and I are both failed Twitter people. We went on Twitter, and I tell you what, I don't much fucking care for it as a place to to regularly interact with with the other human beings. <laughs> I tell you what, if you got a bone to pick. With you know your alma mater kicker's dad, it's a great place to go. That's to. really cool though that you were able to connect <laughs> to that guy. That's yeah, cool I was I was happy. Like I was grateful to Twitter that that platform was available for me to connect like that. Um, but in general, it's just it's kind of fucking boring. It's just people bitching about stuff. Except for Zach Smith, I'm always keeping my eye on Zach Smith. When I, I get on Twitter, maybe once or twice a week now, but I always check and see what he's got going on. And I, here's the fucking other here. Okay, so Zach Smith, free plug for you, bro. Uh, he's got a new pod coming out. No Why way. Wouldn't he? It's called Menace to Society. No uh, way. <laughs> all right. So Zach Smith, for those of you, he's a. Uh, let me let me. I'll, I'll. Why would I describe Zach Smith when Zach Smith can describe himself? Number one, number one, he's got a freedom beard. He's got a very big beard coming coming along. Zach Smith. He's at Coach Zach Smith on Twitter for those of you that want to follow him. His like official hashtag, like everybody's got their hashtag, is like <laughs> not hashtag, hashtag not, me. not me. Yeah, we're getting to that. And that's yeah. at the end of his thing. So <laughs> false domestic abuse claim survivor, psycho ex survivor, trying to save my kids every day. <laughs> Cats all capitalized. That's why I say it like that. <laughs> Fighting for father's rights. And to and and a change in the legal system. Dual exclamation point. Hashtag not me. All right. So Damn. hashtag not me. So here's a, a couple things about Zach Smith. One, he's, he's a raging alcoholic. He's, <laughs> he's alleged to to like a little bit of liquor here or there. 
<laughs> the other thing too is Love schnapps. Yeah, absolutely. There are there schnapps. there are people in his life that kind of are close to him on Twitter that sometimes try and start shit with him. And there's this fucking guy. Okay, here we go. Here's where it all starts. You don't fuck with you don't fuck with Zach Smith on Twitter because Zach Smith. And his whole podcast is basically a Jose Canseco podcast where he's just going to talk shit and besmirch people's reputations. So it's going to be a good one. (laughs) It's going to be a good one. You probably want to add that to your download list. Um, It's this guy, Rich Larimer. Rich Larimer. uh, who's, Who's no longer on Twitter. Spoiler alert. You can't look up Rich. So Rich said something to Zach. I don't know what the fuck he said because everything's unavailable. All Rich's shit has been like deleted and, and everything. So he says something to Zach and Zach says, boy, if you don't shut your woman abusing cokehead ass up, LMAO, don't get me started on you, you clown ass that will only hit a woman. I'm waiting for you to say something to me, tough guy. I know everything about you, Richie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so he knows about you, Richie. He knows Richie. I think Richie, at a certain point in time, somebody says something about Larimer being Cor- Courtney's last name. Courtney, I believe, is the psycho ex-wife that Zach Smith survived. Mm. Uh, his, <laughs> his, <laughs> he's, he survived her dually, uh, false, false claims and psycho acts. So he's a dual Courtney survivor. Uh, so then, of course, Rich said something else, which we have no idea what it is because the tweet is unavailable. Zach says, you're talking tough now, but didn't say a damn thing when you showed up at my daughter's softball practice. So he knows this fucking guy, right? This isn't just some asshole on Twitter. Like, these are two people. This is one of the best things on any social media is two people that fucking know each other in real life going at it on social media. Yeah. Right. It's one thing when it's some dude, you know, nine states away who, you know, worst thing he's going to do is pretend like you're, you know, holding someone prisoner and have the cops come yeah. kill you. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the insults aren't as deep, you know, like, hey, Bobby Fever, you got a stupid fucking face, you know, versus like, oh, yeah. I know all the secrets. Hey, Bobby well, Fever, it, remember when you sharded and then, every, yeah. then everybody's going to laugh because it's personal, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Remember when when you fucking shit your pants in twelfth grade? Yeah, I do. And I I'm gonna tell. Oh wait, now everybody on Twitter does. Remember okay. when you were dancing with that chick in ninth grade? You busted in your pants and you didn't said not to tell anybody. <laughs> hey, guess what, buddy? I'm telling everybody. I'm telling everybody right now. They know all your deepest and darkest. Or it's like, hey, you know how your brother's not actually your brother because your mom's <laughs> a cheating whore? It's like, oh, right, now everyone knows. And then you blow up their family on Twitter. Oh, was that right? private? My bad. Winky face. Hashtag yeah. not me. Oh, Hook smiley em. face emoji. Emoji tears, tears. Like, Hook come em. on. Hook them horns. Em. Hook them. <laughs> Okay. So Zach comes back at this dude. He says, "You're t- okay." So softball practice. Keep running your mouth, and I'm going to come back to social media with all the dirt about your drug habit and your inclination to beat your wife and her sister. So this guy's oh, beating up on his nice. wife and his sister. Real dad equals cocaine head. Abuses his wife, his sister, other women. Adoptive dad, chiropractor, convicted felon, insurance fraud. That's about it for your circle. Outside of that donkey looking dude. Ha ha. Good night. <laughs> so Zach Smith, he's he's getting into it, man. Like yeah. he's he's tipping a few bags. These are new though. These are new Zach Smith posts. These are within the last 21 hours. It's crazy because right. he's been going at it since like October. Because we started really following <laughs> yeah, he's him been like in October. on Twitter you know? for a while, dude. He, he's good for a dust up, like a legit dust up. Like, like this guy should run for fucking president. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. This guy John Stewart's should... a pussy. He's a John pussy Stewart. Boy. Yeah, just calling people out. Hey, fuck you, Kim Jong Il. Fuck you. Like this guy. Little pussy boy. Yeah, yeah. Little bitch. Pussy lips. All right, so he's like, "This is your daughter, haha, ha, big haha." Ha, there, there. I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna get that. I'm not gonna transcribe that exactly. You abandoned her at 11 and re-entered her life a few months ago. How emotional for you! You absolute piece of shit. I was married to her. You chose cocaine and a whore over your 11 year old. Shut the fuck up. You are a joke. Smiley face, tears. Smiley right, face, this guy, tears. This guy is crazy, yo. 
this uh this Zach Smith guy. This guy's nuts. Yeah. So he just keeps decides. going at it, and he just keeps roasting this guy. What about the cocaine parties and domestic violence hitting him hard? Um, and then just keeps going at him. So eventually, it all ends, and it ends with uh, this guy deleting his entire fucking tw- <laughs> Twitter account <laughs> and going dark. Does that like, is that a win? That's a dub, right? That's that a dub. dub. Like that's a serious dub. Like fucking right, mark that right. up there. <clears throat> that was pretty awesome, Zach Smith. You did it, bud. Yeah, I, apparently it got to the point where it was, so Zach Smith's got a thing. Haha, you're gonna shoot someone now. Oh Jesus, you're on a real bender, buddy. Uh, so they're both heavy drinkers. The last thing that, that was said <laughs> was apparently Rich Larimer uh threatening to, to shoot, <laughs> shoot some people. <laughs> So that's good. That's what Twitter's all about right there. The free exchange of ideas. Yeah. The betterment of humankind. I like this Zach Smith fellow, man. This guy. <laughs> I, like the, I like the cut of your jib, sir. Yeah, this guy's like pretty it. cool, man. This guy's pretty ballsy, you know? Yeah. Putting yourself out there. That's absurd, he's, though, you know? He's very brave of him as a survivor very as well. That's, he should um, run for president, dude. Yeah. He should be on fucking <laughs> Mount Rushmore. I wonder if HBO's going to make a documentary of him about just like those Michael Jackson kids. Zach Smith fucking survived. I would watch um, that. I would definitely watch that. The 30 for dad, 30. Totally. You'd watch, yeah, 30 for 30, Zach Smith. Zach Smith, victim, question mark. <laughs> yeah, Hero, then, like the, question the, mark. The, the, the now climax. president. <laughs> yeah. The climax is, is literally just him shitting on people on Twitter. Like now Zach Smith got his groove back. He's like, oh, Rich Larimer? <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, come here, camera crew. Watch me fuck up Rich Larimer's life. Yeah. Hey, Rich Larimer. Yeah, I remember when you fucked that hooker back in 97. Yes, indeed. Chlamydia. <laughs> Boom. He got him. Dude, Done. that guy's probably got so much fucking dirt on people because he's just still squawking away. You know what I mean? Well, but here's the thing is he's dirt. a dirt bag, right? Right. And you remember how you had those like dirt bag friends? Like I had this this guy named this guy named Kurt. Who like went to my <laughs> went to my <laughs> high school, and you know the dude, any dude named Kurt, is like a fucking dirt bag, right? <laughs> so like the first time I got drunk, who'd I do it with? Kurt, <laughs> like obviously Kurt wasn't even one of my like regular friends. Yeah, it was just like ah, oh, I'm, I'm gonna do something new that's fucking stupid. I'm I'll do it with this guy Kurt. Right, I gotta do it. With so Kurt. who was the first guy I smoked pot with? Fucking him, obviously. Kurt. Yeah. <laughs> Kurt. Hey, Kurt, Kurt. What the fuck are we doing that's stupid today? Let's go. He's a he's a dirt because he was a fucking dirt bag, right? It was grand. It was the late nineties, but he had like for where we grew up, he had one too many fucking chains around his neck, and mm, just a little bit too yeah. much shit in his hair. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's like Kurt, you're a fucking dirt bag. But I like to cut of your gym, buddy. <laughs> cut of your gym, man. What are we doing? Something tonight? about you, man. There's something about you that something I like. Something about you, man. Know? Yeah, you man. We're having a good time. time. We're they say you're time. crazy. They say to yeah. stay away from you, but yeah. I don't know. They feel like something he's a bad influence, you. but I'm like, I don't know, man. I have a good time. We're hanging out with old Kurt. Yes, indeed. K Dog. Call me K Dog. All right, K Dog. Let's go. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> let's go, K. Yeah. Um, but that's so that's Zach Smith. So you got to imagine like for so many people, Zach is Kurt, right? It's like, oh, I'm going to go to a strip club. Who am I going to go with? I'm going to go with fucking Zach because yeah. Zach's always down for a titty bar, yeah. right? Who, I'm going to go we, get invite Zach. Zach. He's like super, he's super good at getting coke for us. Yeah, just bring Zach. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's the coke he guy. He only knows about he's people's like cocaine, cocaine habits yeah. cuz he was doing tons of cocaine with them. He was providing the coke. That's how he knows yeah. everything. That's why he's got all he these weird texts. He was looking you up to get that cocaine. When you needed coke, you fucking texted Zach hook Smith. Him. You text him hook him. And <laughs> yeah, that's the text- that's the <laughs> yeah. signal. Hey, yeah. hook him. Ride or yeah. die. And if Need it was like hook him, like hook him all caps, that was like, yo, hook him. <laughs> like, give me the big bag. Like, I got give a chick. She's bag. on her way. I need like a big eight ball of yeah, their finest white powder. Zach, yeah. you've never let me down before. Please, yeah. Zach. That's how, that's how he knows. Uh, so we're, so, so we are fans of Zach here because we <laughs> so. like a good dumpster fire. So our opinions tend to be a little unique here but we, we enjoy a good dumpster fire so we're gonna keep up with keep you guys up keep to date up with zach, zach. yeah all right He's, this we're is big a, fans. let's let's continue here in the fall of rome i want to get it's been a while since we've done one of these 
And I felt like I owed it to you. I felt like I owed it to myself to to go, go watch one more my at least one more my strange addiction. Mm, okay. All right. So here's the deal. Like the the process of selecting these episodes. So it's it's all uh, on what is it on demand. The process of selecting these things is like ugh. nothing ever sounds good. Right, even you know, fuckable dolls, hilarious. Yeah. You know, can't believe, couldn't imagine my life without knowing that that one comes with the with the fuckable ass. Yeah, that like, was a good one. That's a good you know, one. and all, all these things. So, but picking them, it's like, ugh, I don't want to watch someone eat fucking diapers. <laughs> There's one of them. I haven't watched it. One of them is eat eats diapers. Okay, that's so fucking weird. Like, <laughs> you click, the fuck you, you click on it, you click on it, and it says, you know, Evangeline eats urine soaked diapers. I don't want to watch that. I just fucking don't. And I'll everything it. that you, I watch everything it. that you watch either sounds really boring or it sounds whatever. But then every time I watch one of them, I'm just shitting my pants, laughing at my, laughing at everything that's going on, and it, it's always hilarious. Much like this one. So this was a dual one. And it had it had into it had uh, identical twins. I don't remember their names. It doesn't fucking matter. Uh, and then it two, had like, a lady, women or two men. Two women. Okay. And then it had uh, a the other one was a a girl who eats um, mattresses. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> they're both both interesting. <laughs> like the- uh, the the episode the episode about twins not as interesting as kind of the conversation that I feel like it can generate. So these are forty five year old identical twins. All right, are they hot? Uh, I sent you that. Did I, did you? Is there that link down there? Where on uh, the Zencaster? Yeah. So on click on the second one, and you can just see what they look like. All right. So they're very plain. They're, they look like they would be complaining about something at Ross, to a manager. At Ross. At Ross. Like you don't have <laughs> the a size very... eight. It's like, uh, yeah. This is Ross. This ain't Macy's bitch. Like this is yeah. Ross. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let me go check in the back. All right. No, I'm <laughs> go gonna... check in the back. <laughs> I'm gonna check in the back. It's like I'm gonna walk back there. I'm gonna talk some shit. I'm gonna come back out. Yeah, and they, they look guess pretty, what? pretty oh, terrible. Ah, tough break. Wasn't in the back. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. Wasn't in the back. But it, it wasn't in the back. So that's them. Here's the interesting thing about them is that they're identical twins. But about 10 years ago, one of them <laughs> got, a little, got a little chubby. All right. And put on about 15 pounds in comparison to the other twin. All right. And since then... They've said, all right, everything we do, we're going to do together. So it's not just that they are identical twins. There's tons of fucking identical twins. But these are, this is 45 year old women. They sleep in the same room. That'd be so. pretty dope, though. Like if you're trying to smash one and the other one's. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're getting to that. Yeah, no. So if like you're, you're there you're getting, and you're then there's the... other chick is there and she's right. giggling because she led the day next to her sister. Like, right, hey, I got. I got to like, tell you some more of the rules here before we can get into that. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, come on, dude. <laughs> All right, you gotta let this thing cook a little bit before All you pull right. it out of the oven. All, All right. right, that's All where right. we're. Of course, that's where this fucking conversation ends up. Well, it's not <laughs> worth talking about otherwise. All right, otherwise, just two bitches that like eating the same amount of steak, and there's nothing fucking funny about that. All right, but I, I gotta explain how the fucking rules work with these two. Okay. All right. Otherwise, it, otherwise we we can't have that conversation. Okay. All right. Break the rules down for me. All right. So let me break I it need down. To know. So one of them. So one of them got a little bit fat, and they're like, "All right, we do everything. We do everything the same." When they go to their hairdresser, one of them stands over the hairdresser and is like, "All right, I'm watching what you're doing, and you better do. You better make my hair look exactly the same." When they work out. One of them goes in the treadmill for 20 minutes. The other one, you know, does little like weighted, you know, whatever those little fucking hens do when they're just clucking about barely working out at the gym. Yeah. But they feel like they are. They do the same amount. Oh, you did 10 of those? I do 10 of those. When they cut their food up, like, all right, you got four ounces of steak. I got four ounces of steak. They're going to eat a cookie. They're basically counting the fucking chocolate chips in each cookie. Making sure. That they are getting the same amount. 
right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. If one of them needs a tooth pulled, I bet one of them gets the other fucking tooth pulled out of their face too. I don't know how, I don't know. <laughs> they didn't address that specifically. But they are doing everything they can to be as uniform as possible. And then, you know, they've got they've got a friend who's got some very reasonable concerns. She's a very nice lady. What's her name? Jillian. So her friend Jillian. Jillian. <laughs> all right. Jillian's like, all right, here's the deal. I got a couple I got a couple concerns for you ladies. What if one of you dies? What's the other one are you gonna fucking do? Right? <laughs> Have you thought about that? Like I hate to be morbid here, but like one of you's gonna fucking die. And then the other one, what are you gonna do? Here's the other thing, ladies. You ever gonna get married? You're never gonna have a man in your life? Yeah, right. So Jillian goes ahead and sets up a blind date for for like this dude Troy. I don't know what his name is, but his name's Troy. So Troy shows up at Applebee's or whatever. He's getting his fucking he's trying to pick out the app for his two for twenty. Because he doesn't know. It's a blind date. And so he only, he only brought like 40 bucks. It's like, man, if she gets wine, they do two for 20. He gets water, tip. He should be good. But they got to do two for 20. <laughs> it's just like, they got to do two for 20. It's not negotiable. Well, that's that's yeah. it. <laughs> not negotiable. Uh, except for the fact that when, when she shows up, she shows up with her fucking sister. So, like, Troy's two for 20 plan is, like, out the window. Out the window. <laughs> like, two for 20 and bread for me. All right? Because, God funny. damn it, I didn't realize we were going to have a third. Okay? <laughs> I wasn't really prepared for that. No, I, I ate right before coming here. I ate, let me just, <laughs> yeah. just get a uh, – bring me some I, bread. Bring me some I bread. thought it was just drinks. Uh, but I don't drink, so I'll just have water. <laughs> Actually, extra lime, please. Extra lemons. <laughs> extra <laughs> lemons and lime. Uh, bring them out whole. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna eat, eat them. <laughs> How are you on those fries? I'm are hungry. Those fries? I'm hungry. I mean, I'm mean, not hungry. I'm mean, not hungry. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. Yeah, I'm thirsty. we're doing an app. Thirsty. We're doing an app for the table, though. I'll probably get down a little bit of that or all of that, depending on what you guys uh, like as far as apps go. Fucking but anyhow, Troy. Troy, Troy shows up, and he's a little thrown off that. You know, they got it. He's got extra company and it's pretty sweet though. You know? Yeah. It's pretty sweet. He can't fucking handle it though. Right away. They, <laughs> they, they got two different meals and they're cutting stuff up and passing it between things. And one's like, yo, eat like two noodles of that pasta and then hand that shit back over to me. Yeah. It's madness. Yeah. Like the sort of madness that, that a, a freak like you or I would appreciate, but Troy, he can't take it. Like yeah. he just, he can't take it. It's got to be so, ridiculous though if you're trying to have a conversation with somebody <laughs> and you look to the left and this like fucking young lady staring at you like grinning from mouth to mouth, and then they're sitting there like cackling away and giggling at their <laughs> own jokes. And it's yeah. like, what's what's so funny? Oh, he, he, he. You're like I want to participate in the jokes. What are so funny? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are like both two like autistic children that communicate with each other. Like, it's that's crazy. I don't know. So eventually, Troy comes out and asks a question. He's like, what would happen if, if one of you got married? You can, he's, he's already kind of out. He's already like a spectator at this point. But they're like, we're well, we're fucking moving in. Like, we're all going to live together. <laughs> and he's thinking to himself, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> but I'm not saying you got to get married here, Troy. <laughs> but I, Troy, I'm Doug. Just, you can't I'm just like saying, for a week try to make I, it work, you know? Like now we got Now we got the rules of the game. Things got to be equal okay. all around. I just wonder how that equality works, right? What do you have curiosities about as far Is as it? That? All right. All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm Troy. You're Troy. We're all, we're all Troy in this scenario, yeah. but we're a little, we're all a little more open-minded than he is. I'm saying to myself, ah, oh, he's trying to make it work. I'm trying to make These it are work. some good-looking ladies. Yeah. Uh, they're interesting. I'd like to be a part of their lives. I'd like to have them be a part of my lives. I don't know where this journey ends, but I'd like for it to not end here tonight. Yeah. So here's the thing. Uh, everything's got to be equal. That's good. That's good for you if you're Troy and you're and you're into double dipping. Yeah. Right. If you're <laughs> you you gotta realize, like, I like because uh, here's the thing I don't get is is it. 
you know, they're laying there side by side, and it's thrust, 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 switch out, thrust, thrust, thrust. That's three apiece. No, um, no, no. no or, or is it the scenario of it's like, all right, you got 20 minutes with Troy, and then you get 20 minutes with Troy. It'll probably but, be, and I've but never. What if they find out that what you did with them wasn't the same? What do you mean? Right. Like you enjoy they, one they're of all them into more the than same. the other. They're all into the same, right? And what if they're like, all right, same amount of time, but. I mean, what are they going to have fucking like stopwatches there? Like while I'm smashing them? They, like they, they will, gonna yeah. They're going to have stopwatches. Like if you're busting a nut on some titties at 20 minutes for one of them. Dude, you better be rocking and rolling right at that 20 minute mark. Yeah. Ready to do the same. I mean, and then when it's over, do I bust in like a Robitussin little medicine cup and then split it halfsies? Like, how does that work? You know? I don't know. That's that's what's that's where you get in the semantics of this mm. thing. It gets a little bit interesting. Cause it's gotta be equal, but how is it equal? In well, it'd manner? be equal for me because they look the same. So I'd be like <laughs> yeah. on my end. It's equal. It's your guys' responsibility to bookkeep. Yeah. The, I'm, my it, my dick <laughs> yeah. is just here to pump and then <laughs> yeah. dump. You know what I mean? I'm just here to thrust. Yeah. All right? I'm, I'm just, just here to thrust. I'm just here <laughs> to make some movements with my hips and shit. You know, I got control of the iPod, but that's it. Like, that's yeah. about it. I control the playlist and this dick. That's yeah. it. You that got, does you not include foreplay. That doesn't include fun chat after the fact. That doesn't include nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Not for you two. Not for you two. I mean, let's be honest. If you were better looking, yeah, you'd get more. But yeah. with where you're at, I think that'd be do. fun. If I was in, if I was Troy, I'd at least try to get it in. You know what I mean? I would, I would at least, at least to look back and be like, hey, bro, remember that one time I was on My Strange Addiction and I had those <laughs> two, I had those two chicks. Remember that? Remember that yeah. shit? Ah, like, at least give it a <laughs> shot. I mean. What's these the, chicks, I mean, these chicks are so fucking delusional and deranged enough that you can probably make it happen. I mean, these chicks hold hands together and dance around their houses, and literally hang out together. You know what I mean? Like, they, I feel like they'd be dumb enough to like. I don't know. You might want to edit this out. <laughs> 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 I just feel like just, it'd be easy enough to be like, uh, "I love you both equally. I love you." Yeah, yeah. and just you know, get it done. Yeah, I mean, you're not. They're yeah. They're you know? they're not the Einstein twins. Don't don't judge me, Mrs. Fever. Twins. Okay, don't yeah. judge me. Schrodinger twins, whatever. Yeah. Um. So I'm anyhow, down, at the end of that, and the end of that episode, so they hadn't been apart for thirty minutes, and more than thirty. They work at the same job. I don't fucking. I don't want to get into that. I didn't really understand what's going on there. I don't know how that works. Anybody Makes that no works sense. in the building with them would want to kill. Both <laughs> yeah, because they're smiley. I feel like they're extra smiley. You know, like they're they they're are. like they're in, like they get off on the fact that like they're like unique. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so what, what the producers doing? do is they say you guys are taking a one day break, and they separate them for twenty four hours. They make <laughs> one of them go to a hotel. All right. <laughs> These bitches fall apart like fucking. <laughs> Like some sort, like one of my cousins at the, whose Circle K fund has dried up and they can't get the fucking Polar Pop that they need to just quench their thirst because, oh my God, they look like a bunch of strung out junkies just sitting there. They're like, I don't know what her, basically it's like, I don't know what her hair looks like right now. That's crazy. Right? So, my hair needs to look like her hair and I like, miss her. How do they not get annoyed with each other? You know what I mean? I don't know. Like my dog annoys me. My dog sits there and doesn't say anything. And sometimes I'm like, <laughs> yeah. hey, get us. And it'll just run away. You know, and I'm like, God, that thing's annoying. And you got this Jesus. fucking literally your your mirror reflection is hanging out with you. Like your mirror, like the person in your mirror is like your boy now, you know? Hey, what are you I doing? I do that. Nothing. I'm hanging out. Cool, cool. What do you want to do later? I don't want to do anything later. Leave me alone. <gasps> like, yeah. just leave me alone. Leave me fucking alone. We just, we, me and my... It's just the thing is, me and my twin could never be that concerned about fairness and be like, here's the thing about being an identical twin, though, that they've got a point is like, what if you're an identical twin with somebody and you're just you're fucking so disgusting looking that people don't believe that you're that person's identical twin? You mean like the movie <laughs> Twins, like with Arnold and DeVito? Well, they're not they're not identical. They're like fraternal twins. They're, they're twins. Arnold is like the best of, of everything. And then Danny DeVito is like the the poor person stew left over at the end. 
just served up for him to eat for the rest of his life. They're not identical. That's that's I think the the issue. <laughs> I mean, of course they're not identical. There's fucking uh, they're two feet uh, two feet apart. In uh... oh, we lost you. Jesus. Jesus. Oh yeah, we're having fun with Zencaster now. All right, we dropped some audio there. We don't know where we were. Those twins, they're the same. We'd fuck them all good, nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> Poker guy, not the chick on the left. Ended up. Not the chick on the left. The only the one on the not right. the one on the left. She's looking a little bit chubby. Um, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's move on. Let's hit this last strange addiction. I want to talk a little bit about Jenny. Uh, so Jennifer is a young woman who eats mattresses so her addiction is mattresses she likes to eat mattresses you know uh, she just, likes to just eat. normal things you know so she likes to eat a lot of things too like i don't know i don't know if you clicked on that link uh jennifer is very very big uh, i'd say having seen a number of my 600 pound life episodes they could just change like TLC if they just fucking they could cut up the audio they, like they could cut up their footage different and make an episode of that out of this. Okay, I just uh, um, googled her. Jennifer's mattress eating addiction is causing serious health issues. Is that yeah? The one? So it, it's causing well, it's potentially <laughs> causing some serious health issues. And there's one one health issue in particular that uh, I'd like to hear from you about. Um, Gastrointestinal related, obviously. That's mm. that's your wheelhouse. That's where you are the expert. I'm an uh, expert. Man, eating as much Chinese food as you have, you know about that sort of distress. Oh, dude, you you already know. And I try to get fiber in my body. So you have yeah, any questions? You've been hammering the broccoli hard. You've been hammering the pictures of the broccoli very hard. I'm telling you, bro. You think I was lying, but I've been telling you this truth. All right. Lot, so so what's up with this chick, man? She looks like she's got more than just. She got, like, she's got she's got a lot of pain fiber. inside this she's one of those people where i'm like man who hurt you like why are you hurting so bad mm -hmm. so she's got her she lives with her mom and her brother her mom is very big too her brother is like really tiny like he's really skinny they're both like like really huge and so she at the end of the day she eats about a square foot of mattress and I, the thing is, when they sit on the show, it doesn't mean anything to me because mattress, uh, that's like a three-dimensional object, man. I need that in cubic inches. Like how big, like how many cubic inches is she eating? It, a square foot of a piece of paper is nothing. Like a square foot of a fucking lasagna-sized <laughs> mattress, it, like it's, <laughs> it's fucking big. Like that's a lot. Like is it a lasagna slice? Is it a piece of paper slice? A square foot of what? So that was, I mean, that's just for me as a viewer to the producers. That's just a show note for you guys. But total, she's eaten about eight mattresses. All, all right. right. So she has, she's, a, I think she's 25, uh, somewhere in there, somewhere in her 20s. And her addiction started like all of them do. They start small. Uh, started at the age of five. She started nibbling on a car seat. And that's where she really got like, the bug or whatever to, to eat like furniture and shit. And apparently she, she's eating all sorts of different furniture, couches, chairs. She's fucking eating it all. But mattresses for the last 10 years, she's been in a monogamous furniture eating relationship with mattresses. So that's what she's fucking into. And, and, and here's the thing. Like, what do you like if she goes to ikea is she just like yeah. so overwhelmed like <laughs> like lusting like, like she's at a buffet yeah just like yeah. oh god like the new 2019 winter spring Ooh, catalog is out god damn and god damn that mattress with some fucking ketchup i can feel oh. Oh, god. okay so here's the thing she addresses that very specifically she does not um is she sexually you, attracted to these mattresses no, no not sexually she does not she she's into straight mattress she likes her coffee black uh, she Got doesn't, it. she's just eating fucking whatever. She does give a little bit of a review about like, we you know, what's the good stuff. Pillow top is the good stuff. She says, so that's <laughs> the good stuff of the mattress, which I, I get it. I mean, I get it. Like that is, um, you know, it, 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 I don't know. I don't fucking eat mattress. I don't eat like shit. That's not food. But I could get it. All right, that's soft. It's probably kind of like cotton candy consistency if you're into eating whatever. 
But here's the thing is that pillow top is what's right up under people's fucking asses. If you're into mattress eating, like it's a danger zone. (laughs) Like there are people that sleep on these mattresses that she's eating. She's not eating these things out of a fucking showroom. Yeah. So when you get to the show, like it's like uh, Jennifer is eating her mother's mattress. <laughs> dot dot dot. Because she's already fucking eating hers. All right. And when I'm watching this, at a certain point in time, the only thing I think of is like, well, I got a solution here, people. Get the bitch a water bed. Like, get her fucking water bed. Yeah. Like, she can't eat that. I get it. They're out of style. You probably can't find them around everywhere. But, like, they're not good for your back. But, you know, it's not good for your back is clogging up your intestines <laughs> so that your back fucking swells up and explodes because food can't pass through it. Like, Jesus. And I'll tell you what. Like, if you know, I'm not a, I'm not a surgeon, but – from what I hear about these people that do these surgeries, if you have to do them on somebody that's that big, like the surgery is way fucking harder for you. Cause you're at like your anatomy is not, it's different, man. Like you got to find it somewhere. You you try to find your landmarks moving through the human body. They ain't where they should be. They're under piles of things. So it's like, if they got to get into her fucking gut for some reason and they can't come in or out of one of those holes, and they got to fucking go in looking for whatever they're looking for, it's not going to be an easy find. It's just not. Like, (laughs) what? Does she only eat mattress, or is she just kind of, like, eating mattress as, like, a fun thing? Well, she does not only eat mattress. Okay. Like, that's there's not enough calories in mattress to get her where she's at. (laughs) Mattress does not have the nutrients that Doritos have, you know? Um, (laughs) Yeah, I'm I'm just – it's just not – I just doesn't. So, uh, like, she, you would do you know anything about fishing at all? Are you like you have, have you ever fished? Like, yeah, I've, fi- I've I've fished. I've, I've won fishing championships, not bragging or anything, uh, on a fluke. But I caught the biggest fish in a fishing tournament one time. It was so mega you, sweet. You probably know, like you. I'm sure you know this is common knowledge for you. But like, let's say you're a fish and you eat a lot of like crabs, so your meat ends up tasting like a lot of cra- like crab, right? So there's yeah. certain meats that are more delectable than other meats because the meats and the food that that fish is eating is like, like a like, higher quality. So it tastes yeah, good. Like carp eat like fucking dirt. And, yeah. Carp and eats and garbage fish and, fish and detritus. And, and right. Plastics. So they taste like garbage. So right? you don't want to eat them. Right. Like you exactly. just want to try and kill them from the side of the bank with your BB gun. So um, I'm not a cannibal, but if I was to fillet her or like eat a portion of her like arm or arm fat, would she taste like mattress? You know what I mean? Like what would no, she taste probably like? a little bit. It probably an aftertaste of mattress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, mattress doesn't really have a taste. So I yeah. mean, I don't. I don't know. I mean, I, I've had foam in my mouth, right? <laughs> uh, I can't say that I've ever like uh, eaten a quantity of it. I just get scared that I'm going to choke on it, and that's one of the things that they go over with her is like, so a lot of times that she's just sitting around, it's like. <laughs> yeah, she's choking. Right, she's a navy pilot yeah, pulling she's out of eight choking, G's. dude. Yeah, like it, she's she's having to make you force that stuff through there. So here's where here's where we get to it. Here's where we we really get into this. Say, all right, all right. So the the mom and the mom and the brother have an intervention for her right hey stop and, eating and, mattresses all right yeah. that's it that's it yeah the mom didn't know that she'd eaten that many mattresses she's a bit caught off guard the brother's a bit more in tune with with how much the mattress he has eating. seen my strange addiction season one so he <laughs> yeah. knows what he's dealing with here you know yeah so they get a pretty they get a pretty poor response from her but here's what i want to get to before before we get jennifer to the doctor um she starts talking about so what would so here's one of the things if you eat a bunch if you eat like eight mattresses right like it's probably I've had my dogs get into stuff they'll eat a piece of a blanket or they'll eat a piece of a sock or they'll eat a piece of this or that and it's always a real tense kind of couple of days are they still eating right are they gonna shit this thing out are we have to go to the vet <laughs> yeah and fucking do yeah. something they're wrapped around their you intestines know. and gonna yeah. kill them right yeah so you're really panicking you know because. It just, I mean, that happened to us like last week. You know, one of our dogs fucking, oh, he ate my goddamn shoe is what he ate. He ate the tongue of my shoe and a little bit of shoelace. 
So, and we didn't know who got what and how things kind of panned out amongst them. So you get worried. If you know, I get worried when my dog eats part. Which of Which dog shit. was it? Which dog? Uh, I was. It was a little, um, a little mixed breed, little half basset. Um, oh, the the, uh, the hound. Yeah, the hound boy. He's a fucking dick. I yeah, fucking, he's a little. Yeah, I mean, thank I God I buy my shoes at, at Payless, and those things sucked. And it was kind <laughs> of a, kind of a blessing in disguise uh, to to be able to replace them. And they're in all of their fourteen ninety nine glory. Um, so, I mean, but, you know, he can, he could have got into something else. But anyhow, I get worried when they eat a small amount of, like, my fucking shoe. And this lady's eaten eight, like, I mean, I don't know if they're twin, <laughs> eight, queen. Eight mattresses. <laughs> mattresses. Mattresses. She's eating a fucking mattress every year. Yeah, she's I mean, gonna be fine, dude. Who, she's gonna be fine. Fuck her. Who cares? So, she's gonna be totally fine, bro. She's gonna be fine. The only I feel like is, the mattress is the least of her worries. You know, it's, I feel it's, like diabetes is like coming in, yeah. like tied for first. You know that. <laughs> she's, I mean, large, she's definitely bro. got like uh, preteen onset diabetes or whatever yeah. the fuck. Whatever uh, the one is where you lose your legs at like 30, that's the one she's got. Yeah. Whatever the doctor's like, one. well, are you covering the mattress in insulin when you eat it? Because if you're not, you <laughs> should be. <laughs> Just funny. make sure you frost it with insulin. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, that'll we'll call the mattress neutral. You, you kids point. like Adderall. Yeah, instead of snorting Adderall, snort glipicide. Uh, glipicide, I'll give you a prescription. Snort that, and uh, it'll keep you alive for another couple of years. Yeah, a couple of years. Um, what's that? You can't read that <laughs> because it's attacking your eyes. Uh, but anyhow. <laughs> uh, All right, realistically, though, like, I, you know, the show is, you know, the show, like, if that was you, dude. Imagine all of the foam like stuck to the inner lining of your like okay. butt track, you know? Okay. That's that's a great segue. Like, that's a great segue because I'm going to ask you to imagine that because that's right. part of what we're talking about. That's what I keep thinking about, dude, getting your insides clogged. And so then it's one like, of the things that septic, you know. This lady is complaining about that Jennifer's complaining about it. She she doesn't like the gas. She's like, ah, it makes me a little gassy. All right, well, that makes sense, right? You fucking, you ate a mattress. Cool. <laughs> You're going to have some side effect. If it's a little bit gas, it's a good thing. But, okay, so where where is this? All right. I I wrote this fucking right down. I wrote, I copied this down word for word. What'd you write down? Okay, so Jennifer's going to the doctor. All right. All right. That's where this happens. Between this is between her and the doctor. We don't learn about this until she goes to see old Doctor Mac. Oh, Jennifer, she's off to see old Doctor Mac. Uh, it's about hey Doc. It's about me eating mattresses. Okay, cool. So he oh, asks yeah, the, her, the, the, guys, the mattress bitch is back. What's up? So he asks her what she. So she walks. Well, I mean, I I don't know if she walked in there, or scootered in there, or however the fuck she got in there. They rolled don't have like cut she probably rolled they don't have in a lot there. of B roll. Uh, you know, it's this very tightly cut and edited show. So anyhow, she scootered her way into the doctor's office. She's in there waiting for Dr. Mac. Dr. Mac is your classic, like, old white guy, bald head. Like, you know, he's but the classic friendly looking grandpa character. Yeah. And he goes in there and she's and she has a kind of like, you know, those little foam things that I we that you bought 35 million of as you're trying to sink the SS tuna can. It's oh, about yeah. the size of that, about a 12 by 12 square of foam. And she walks in there at that. Maybe it's eight by eight, whatever. It's a hunking fucking piece of foam. And she goes in, she's like, this is what I'm going to eat today. <laughs> you know, this is what is going in my belly today. And he's like, have to need doing that it's like, every day. He's just raising his eyebrows at her. He's like, are you getting any, are you getting any complications? It's like a little bit gassy. And then she's getting... The sulfur burps. I never heard this term before in my life. And sulfur burps. Like, what? And she says, it's a burp, but it's kind of like a fart in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. pretty gross. Okay. So Dr. Max's mind is like, he's like, fuck, it's fucking blown here. And he's explaining it to her. And he's like, he, he, she's, he's like, pardon me. 
And she says, yeah, it's very, <laughs> it's very sulfury. It's like someone is farting out of my mouth. It's like I have two assholes, basically. My mouth is the consistency of an asshole. And what, she uh, wants like a, a solution to this? She's like, Well, because he explains what's happening. He's like, here's what I think's fucking happening. So they, obviously they take the x-ray. And whenever these people are eating anything, these x-rays never, nothing ever shows up. Right. Yeah. Because somehow it's like these plastic, people are fucking like... unicorns and they're not dead despite the fact that they should be long dead. Long dead. Yeah. Like that. Uh, she should have had a gut obstruction airplane. from this with 10 years ago. She should have been dead. Yeah. Dead and fucking craned out of her fucking apartment and put in the giant horse euthanizer. Or what is that thing where they about cremate her? And then that would have been the end of her. There never would have been a fucking episode. But it is. Should've, so they should just no- burn down the house, dude. Like uh, Gilbert Grape style. <laughs> that's, that's good. That's like economical. just le- leave her ass fucking like in it. there. You know what I mean? Just burn it. You know, it's like you're- she's alive. Nah, she's been dead for years. She's it's fucking been dead for years. It's basically just a miniature version of fucking Game of Thrones after they beat the White Walkers. It just sucked. Oh, yeah, Fuck just that show. Fire. But anyhow, we're gonna get right to that here in a second. So what he explains to her is that – so they take the x-ray. They don't see any piles of anything. Um, but he's like, those sulfur burps, what's going on is you're – like, so the mattress gets cut into your thing, in, your, in like your stomach or your intestines or your whatever, and then your food gets hung up on it. Yeah. And the food yeah. never moves through. So it's digesting in the wrong place in your body. It's like So that's why you're getting your this – Oh like horrific God. gas because your food is just like digesting fully in places where it's not supposed to. And it's he's like, like you're rotting. Gonna get a fuck- it's like yes, rotting. Yes, he's like, gut. you're going to get a fucking hole somewhere and then you're going septic and then it's over for you, sweetheart. It's fucking over for you. But so like she- in her defense, though, like if I was her doctor, I'd be like, honestly, though, it's kind of been over for you. Like at this point, like. <laughs> Look, this is the only happiness that you have at this song's point. Get you know you. what I mean? Yeah, song's gonna get you, you know, sooner or later. You know, you, you, ain't, you're, you ain't doing too good already. You know yeah. what I mean? So you uh, know you're what? not gonna see fifty. There's no way you see fifty. Oh, dude, regardless her, her, of how no many mattresses way, you no do way. or don't eat, no way, no way, no way. <laughs> like Jesus. No way. And no if she way. does get to 50, she's going to be like minus one of her four limbs at least. She wouldn't get – she's not going to get to 40. You can't be that fucking big and then eat mattresses on top of it. Like if you're that – if you're fucking already If there, the mattresses like, like tasted like pizza, I would probably eat mattresses. But they don't. <laughs> they taste like fucking mattress. They so. taste like fucking foam and farts, all right? So quit eating them. Like so this lady's know. dead, right? That was the end of the story. Oh, like I mean, dead. this is in 2014. So, yeah, she's, she's out there dead. with kidney bitch just in heaven yeah, waiting. She's, <laughs> she's waiting in line on the buffet for the fucking property bros cruise in heaven is what she's doing. I and then she's going to go back to her room and she's just going to destroy her mattress because it's heaven and you can eat a mattress every day in heaven. And can you make rules. a note? Can you make a note of like trying to – so when we go back and listen to it or do research, can we start doing these but looking at like the results in like 10 years later? You know what I mean? Like whatever yeah, happened I mean, to the well, lady here's the thing with is like they the have, water, um, you know? They what have the, the 10 most shocking update. I haven't Yeah, but I'm yet. saying like, like I really want to know what happened to the guy that was fucking the inflatable giraffe. I want to oh, know. Dead. He's dead. <laughs> but the, uh, <laughs> yeah. the, uh, the dirty water chick. Yeah, she's oh, definitely she's dead. dead. She's, she's dead. dead for yeah, sure. She's dead. Who's next? Um, who else do you want to know about? Uh, the chick who was fucking the roller coaster. I want to know uh, about her. Dead. Bruce she's Dicked probably down. dead. Uh, tetanus. She's probably dead. Tetanus pussy. Killed what about her. the chick with like the raccoon like snow globe or whatever? And it would like talk to her. It was like a, it was yeah. a thing with a skull. Dead. Well, dead. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> dead. dead. I think yeah. they're all dead. Um, I'll check and see. But last time I checked, um. Yeah, each and every one of them. Dead. Unlike the people on Game of Thrones. All right, so if you don't like spoilers, don't don't look. All right, so it's it's 549. Game of Thrones is coming out in 10 minutes here, so I got to get this out. Uh, it's not going to be posted before then, but, I mean, if I got to fucking pull the pull the, uh, the meta file or whatever you nerds do, I want this out there. Here's my prediction. I, I will go back into whatever, but I got to get this on tape. We're going to see a fucking dragon army tonight. 
There's going to be an entire army of dragons that attack King's Landing. No way. Yes. Why? Here's the deal. What? I'm I'm basing this off of fucking two things. All right, so your mind is blown. Good. I like it's it. It's not blown. It's good. It is blown. It is blown. It doesn't happen. It, it ain't doesn't blown. happen. All right, here's here's why. There's, I'm basing this off of fucking three things. All right, I said two, but I just added a third. Here's here's my. I have one piece of evidence, and then one piece of conjecture, and then one one thing that doesn't really make any sense. So here's my piece of evidence. So in that bullshit scene where they chop Grey Worm's girlfriend's head off, right? <laughs> there was fucking, and then all right, then they killed, <laughs> they killed uh, the dragon lady's second dragon e- easily. Easy, way it was too like easy. The dragon was me and Apex, and they and fucking Euron was shroud. It had no chance. Right through the neck. I, say like, good night. Hit the fucking crazy. water. Dumb as shit. As it so happened to, one- I'm like, they're gonna zoom in on fucking this Greyjoy motherfucker. They're gonna zoom in on him, and he's gonna be there, like, gotcha. And the next scene, it zooms in on him, and he's like, gotcha. Like, he's such a like stupid. unreal shot. And she so does stupid. nothing about it. Why burn any of the ships to the ground? Just run away. But Why, anyhow, yeah, yeah, yeah. terrible, Here's terrible. The- Zero out of ten. Garbage. So we're trash. down to one dragon. We've already established in this world that one of those crossbows can fucking slice and dice a dragon. There was a crossbow in that scene where she gets chopped up like every 50 meters on that wall. So many fucking crossbows. That's too much for that dragon. That's too much. But it's not too much for an army of dragons. They're set up to defend against an entire... I don't know where this fucking army comes from. I don't know how it gets there. I'm just saying they roll out of this cave. There's, there's a bunch, a bunch of dragons. We finally get to see the battle we were meant to see. That's and, the uh, dumbest two. fucking thing I've ever heard. <laughs> That's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard you say. We'll see. That's I so dumb. I can't bro. fucking wait. I can't That's fucking so wait stupid. till this army of dragons comes out of here, and I'm just gonna text you. <laughs> Be like, Yo, fuck. I'm gonna wait. I'll be respectful. Drag I'll all wait. caps. I'll all caps. caps. Dragons. I'll wait till I know you've seen the episode. <laughs> Yeah. I'll, just, I'll just text you dragons, and then you'll know what that means. Uh, but anyhow. If they did that, there'd be no buildup, no logic, no reason, no fucking hints, no clues yeah. that had ever, have ever like led, be given me breadcrumbs to get to well, that point. Well, guess what? Welcome I, to fucking season eight of Game of Thrones. You just yeah. described everything about this season. Yeah. You just said, well, if they did yeah. that, they'd just continue doing everything that they've already done this season. And I'm yeah. like, sweet. Because here's the deal. Here's my here's number two. Um, whoever that chick is that Amelia Clark, Emil Clark, she said this episode was crazy, and something that's the only thing I could think of that's actually crazy because Sansa doing a Fortnite dance over fucking Daenerys's dead body at this point is not crazy to me. It's just not. I, so, I really only cared about the White Walkers, and now here I am, I and I'm like, and it's like, will a Sansa defeat Tyrion in the epic battle featuring Hermione and Eri, where they will be in the Quidditch Cup? Where the, like, <laughs> I don't give a fuck about any of that. Just tell me where the White Walkers are and why. I want to know about the White Walkers. I don't care about all Varys. I wanna, all I want to see I don't is... care about the spider and the, the, the dragons. I never cared. Oh. Bring me back All the CGI now is, Huskies. is the Clegane Bull. Hound versus Mountain. Give me that. I don't even, I don't and, even care about turn that. Turn the fucking rest off. I don't even care about that. I don't even oh, fucking BTW, care about that. congrats to us for calling Arya killing the Night King. Yeah, we called so it. Hard. That was, let's get a digital um, high five here using our tears. Boom. Sadness. They've ruined uh, game that was that was, hor- that was horrible. Last episode, even worse. <clears throat> That's terrible. And here in 10 minutes, uh, we're going to be... Fuck. They're Let me just fuck. put it this way: we'll when I'm see. masturbating later, it will. I'll be using tears to lubricate my dick. There better be a dragon be army. Bad. That's all I'm saying. Dragon army, calling it. Uh, if there's not, there's gonna be no dragon army. Uh, you know, predictions. The picking the Chiefs to win the Super Bowl. You can feel confident about it, but it ain't gonna happen. It's gonna be um, fucking stupid. It's gonna be. Fun. All right, last thing here. Uh, let's do Avengers. So we got Avengers spoilers coming up. If you haven't right. seen the Avengers Endgame, goodbye. Uh, if you have, welcome to our our very brief review of Avengers Endgame. Because hey, why wouldn't you want to hear that? So you saw it. What'd you think? I man? saw it. I thought it was pretty sweet. Like, 
it was cool but like i know that as i was leaving the theater people were just like oh, i can't believe like they didn't do like the spider-man like like side universe tag you know what i mean like people were really bummed about it i just thought it was colorful i liked the explosions and i thought it was pretty sweet um i thought I mean, it would have been pretty sweet, sweet. If they would have just ended it right when Thor cut off Thanos' head. It's like, oh shit, there was nothing they could do <laughs> about like this. 20 minutes the into movie the movie. is like 25 <laughs> minutes long. It's over. Everyone's confused as fuck. They basically pulled a season eight of Game of Thrones on the Avengers movie, th- movie series. And that's sad. Uh, that would have been mega sweet. I would have Yeah, loved that, that. would have been funny. <laughs> I would have uh, really enjoyed that. <laughs> that would have really been great. Uh, Mrs. Fever and I went to an early IMAX showing of this thing. Uh, it was $44 for two people to go see this. It was 3d IMAX. I will say I didn't, I did enjoy that. It was loud. It was in my fucking face. The 3d's come a long way since avatar. When I first saw the original avatar, that was, I don't know. I'm I'm going to see avatar two in 3d for sure. Uh, as well. Um, my big things with this were, there are very few people in the theater and I was that guy who was like, I mean, it was right around noon and I was ready for lunch. So I was that guy rolling in there with the nachos. <laughs> kind of like when we we're playing with puppies, uh, just eating my fucking nachos, eating loud food and shit. There's only like nine other people in the theater. It didn't matter. Um, but I thought that when Iron Man died, that was fucking pretty hilarious. I wanted to shout out, I started laughing, not because I thought Iron Man was going to die and was necessarily that funny, but I just imagined someone shouting out, God damn, Iron Man's fucking dead. <laughs> <And I> was, <laughs> like Somebody in another theater somewhere being very disappointed at the death of Iron Man. I didn't care. At the end of that, I didn't care. They could have fucking killed them all and it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> yeah, at that point, yeah. Like, Let me ask you a question. Why the fuck can Captain America hold an axe? Like, I don't understand how he was just like... Oh, how he could hold the hammer? Yeah, why could he do that? I, mean, I didn't get it either. I, yeah. the, here's the thing is, I have Everybody seen... Everybody in the was like, oh, like blown away. And it's like, what are they, just bend the rules? Like, I thought it was just Thor's hammer. You know I what thought I mean? it was only those that were worthy. I think is how Thor put it um, at some point in the movie. Um, That's big stupid. disappointment That's for the ladies stupid. out there. To have Thor CGI'd as being fat, that, that's got to, I mean, that would have disappointed me. I thought uh, that was pretty funny, though. I thought, yeah, it was, like, funny. That was funny. I liked it. I mean, you know, I wasn't there for that. But if I were a lady, I'd be a little <laughs> disappointed. Uh, you kind of fucked me there, Marvel. I was there for my Chris Hemsworth abs, and here we go. We got fat Thor. I don't know about that. I, I did feel as though I didn't know really most of the characters because <laughs> I haven't seen <laughs> me neither, me neither. Uh, the Marvel <laughs> movies. I'm like, oh, that's Black Panther. There was that girl power scene with Captain Captain Marvel, which I haven't seen that movie. So if you haven't seen Captain Marvel, which I haven't, there were definitely some holes uh, with her. I feel like she was underutilized. They, they definitely could have had her. They had to push her out of the plot to make some to make some room for shit to happen, though. Yeah, it was weird. I didn't like how they used her. And then I, I didn't like at the end there was that one scene with the girl power scene where it was like it was like Thanos <laughs> and her. And it's like I keep, I keep you're gonna have that with my wife. <laughs> it's like you're gonna have to get through me and me. It's okay. Oh, yeah. She's got help and help and you, me. Help you. And yeah, and like, let's up, get him, girls. girls. Let's go, girl. Like that let's right go. there. I was kind of like, eh, you know, as part of the patriarch myself, like <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't like the message I that that sends out. Attacked you know? right now. I feel, I feel very, very attacked. attacked. This moment. <laughs> very attacked. I feel. Like, I'm feeling my inner Thanos. <laughs> like super, very attacked here. super attacked. I'm gonna tweet Ben Shapiro later. Maybe he'll back me up. <laughs> yeah. You know, direct tweet too, like a DM. Yeah. DM you know, him. Shit. Ben, Ben, I was watching Avengers. I'm feeling very attacked after that scene. <laughs> like video. super attacked. Um, super attacked. Super attacked. Yeah, it was. All right. I mean, it, it is what it is, dude. Like, you're not a diehard Marvel fan, so I know those guys were probably upset that it ended that way. But you and me <laughs> just want to go see a movie with colors and shit. It was like, dude, it's yeah. like when I was watching. I'll never get over this, dude. I was watching the Mockingjay or whatever, or the. Uh, the Hunger, Hunger Games. Games, and I'm like in the yeah, third you movie. Seen anything. <laughs> I didn't see the second one, so I'm watching the yeah. third one. And I'm like, damn, these, they're like really, uh, they guys like they really know each other. These people, like, 
this is really intense. What's going on? I had no idea, dude. I had no idea I was watching <laughs> the third movie. I was with my ex, and I'm like, who's this fucking one bitch with the blonde hair? Like, I had no idea. <laughs> so, oh, she's just, uh, she all. was in the last movie. Oh, what do you mean? No, she was in that movie. Yeah, she was. Yes. No, I've never seen her before. Okay, fuck. Just I'm a, a movie behind. Idiot. I'm a movie behind. That's how I am with the, I've seen the Harry Potter movies because my wife likes them. Mm-hmm. I don't fucking I don't know any I can't remember any of them. <laughs> yeah, you mean like, neither, dude. I, no I've idea. seen them all like six times. <laughs> yeah, but Sna- I have no Snape idea. kills Dumbledore, man. That's fucking all I know about Harry Potter. Snape kills Dumbledore, Quidditch, and I was, that's, dude, I was, no, I'm tapped out. Jesus, I'm tapped out. Harry Potter. Like I was watch. telling you earlier, man. I have that that coworker that I used to work with. This she was like, I you know Harry Potter is the great. She, she has Harry Potter tattoos, and I'm like, why? It's a, why it's a fucking kids movie you know it's a, Got me it's a movie some tough times. for children about wizards you know i had a i had a co-worker What's with you you idiot i had a co-worker that was forever. really into twilight and she yeah. was a yeah, middle-aged exactly. woman in her her 40s late 40s early 50s and one of her favorite things to do was crochet uh blanket sized fucking twilight images from either the books or the movie cover or whatever so it's like sounds hot, oh my dude. my uh really my hot. daughter had a uh birthday this year so i made her this fucking edward blanket check it out <laughs> <laughs> oh jesus <laughs> christ that's terrible uh, thanks beth it's pretty sick yeah pretty thank sick. you god damn would you like I, one i see how uh, you're buying it um no you know? actually my birthday was actually last month so i didn't tell you guys about it but that's okay i don't need i don't do presents it's okay uh, i have an etsy i have an etsy page here's my etsy yeah. page this is you know i take paypal and i also sell scented candles twilight themed you know twilight i can uh, i can get you those candles in uh, eight to twelve weeks <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> eight to twelve weeks eight if to you want to pay extra for shipping uh yeah. <laughs> i can get him i can get him there to you quick I don't have some time this fiscal quarter. I can guarantee you that. I only right, do Poker FedEx guy. Air. That's I only do FedEx Air, so it's like eggs like sixty dollars to be shipped to your house. <laughs> it's an extra sixty, yeah. It's extra overnight. Sixty on top, you know. It's overnight by the time it processes them, but it's eight to twelve weeks processing. So you don't you're not gonna wanna wait an extra ten days for ground at that point. And you have okay? to pay beforehand and you gotta deposit straight into my bank account. And uh, yeah. the, the cash right, I'm gonna send you a check. Out. Wait, how does that scam go? I send you a check for more, and then you gotta refund me, and then my check bounces. I saw I that. It's one yeah. of those internet There's scams. Scam. Where yeah, kind of like that. Where it's like if I'm an eBay seller, you send me a check, and it's got like, oh, don't cash this yet, but send the thing, and then <laughs> yeah. cash the check. Like, I don't know, uh, dude. I gotta cash this sounds suspicious. You or, <laughs> why don't? Why don't you take credit cards, bro? <laughs> like I'm trying to get some miles here, not not fucking be your personal banker. Like even if you're not scamming me, fuck you, dude. Fuck you, bro. Just take credit cards. God damn it. I got yeah. like eight visas, dude. Just like give just, me if you give visa two percent. It's gonna be okay. Like you're it gonna makes be fine. Everyone's life easier. You're Come gonna on, be fine. man. I had dude. I, where I live, bro, there's businesses that take cash only. And every time I go in there, I'm like, still. You guys are still yeah, fucking cash that, only, bro. They, still? they got that ATM that charges a nineteen dollar <laughs> <laughs> fucking withdrawal fee. In addition to any charges your bank may cover. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's funny. <laughs> it's that, or whatever it is. The actually uh, the ATM doesn't work. The but there is a bank uh, <laughs> eight blocks to the south. So just walk eight blocks yeah. in the blistering Florida heat, and uh, you know we'll yeah, be I'll here. Be, yeah. I'll be right back for for that. Uh, for that uh, steak taco, for sure. Yeah, for I'll sure. be right back. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Just cook it up for me. Just start. But first, it. let just me just it. ride right my back. Uber to my house and then just yeah. get the uh, the egg, what is it? The bite squad, whatever the fuck it's called. The, oh, what's uh, that? Uber oh, eats. The... Just get some Uber eats. <laughs> yeah. Living in the future. Yeah, let me bitch. just do that. Um, that's a great thing. They really need to revolutionize the deliveries, though. That's one of the things, like. They need once the robots can drive these fucking cars. It's over. They're basically just going to be giant ovens, and then they're going to drive up to a little slot, and then maybe a human or another robot will load up your fucking robot oven that drives around and keeps your food hot. See, I think drones, dude. I think drones are the next thing. Like it's a. I don't think. I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be an an, an individual drone, like one drone with some fucking. Some crab rangoons in there and some chicken dumplings, <laughs> you know? It's like a little bit of pork fried rice. 
like a little little small serving of pork fried rice, some beef and broccoli, yeah, some broccoli buzzing into my house. Sure. I'm outside with like a flare gun, like shooting at the drone. That'd be pretty <laughs> gangster. That'd be pretty sick. Yeah, be really That'd good. Be All right, good. poker guy, you got any uh, anything before we get out of here? No, man. I will catch you on the flip side. I may not talk to you. Uh, yeah but yeah if i, I won't drown, even know if you're dead or not this next it's gonna be like you ate an entire shoe i'm gonna be worried about you <laughs> <laughs> i'm worried about it, man. man poker guy uh man, right before nah. he left man he was really interested in those mattresses you know he yeah was really into those um, mattresses you know he's he didn't lose a kidney over tinder did he i hope he didn't i hope oh he's I hope he's doing oh all right God. i hope but, not dude but you know Jesus. <laughs> Don't put that curse on me, Ricky. That's all I'm saying. Don't put Don't it put on you. All right, man. Me. We'll be safe out there. I'll be holding it Thanks, down. Uh, and I'll be listening, will... bro. I will be fucking right. listening. So uh, hopefully. This is Fever's very down on the solo pods, but I'm going to. I'm gonna see what I can do. You I'm should drag her, her. Yeah, you should drag her and do, 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 do a little, pod. Do a dual British pod. World yeah. Conspiracy. I'm gonna have some guests up here over Memorial Day weekend. Make it. Yeah, I'd like there. to hear at least requests before I leave. I want to hear a British World Conspiracy. I also want to hear your guys' review of the season, the series finale of Game of Thrones, because I'll be in Costa for that. Oh, that's right. I well, want to hear. Give it to you. you also got to right. give me a fist chat update because we didn't do one today. So I do no, want no. a fist chat. All right. And all then right. Uh, that's about it. But all other right. than that, boys and girls, it's been fun. It's been real. I'll catch you guys in about a month.